You've had some trouble. Watch your stalls, watch your pockets. Hey, we're back at the boot sale and here we are again looking for bargains. And we're looking for bargains not just for the fun of it, but a little bit for the fun of it. Um, I do collect stuff as well and the thrill of the hunt and all that. But I'm a full-time reseller, so that means I basically try and pick things up at boot sales, at charity shops, at... Uh, online uh, wholesale places stuff like that and I try and flip it online for a profit and that is how I make a living just like you would make a living on a normal day-to-day full-time job this is my job um, that's how I pay all my bills so we need to get out there and see what we can find so you're real guys are falling then. Oh, yeah, once I've read that, I'll be alright. <laughs> How much is your DVD, please? Pound. Pound. Oh. It's up to date. Yeah. Recent one, that, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Good film. I'll have that for a quid. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Enjoy it. How much are your boots? 15. 15. Never been worn before. No, they're perfect, aren't they? Yeah. Ghosted. Would you do a tenner on them? 13. 13. So 12? Why not, yeah. Why not? Were they yours, these? Yeah. Got them for Christmas and then never never bothered. into it. Oh, never got into them. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, that's... 12, there you go, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Julie, is that about your shoes, sorry. Um, yeah, they're, they're five, because they, they were, they're new. Yeah, they're not um, They're two pound. Yeah. Hmm. Did you write your get your get your? Yeah, money off the table. Okay, this one's got no return, I can't put anything in the car. Did you write yours down, Jordan? Yeah. Did you write my commission down, because I let you come with me? There ain't no commission. Ain't no. You're a good lad. There ain't no commission. You'll be good in business, John. Good in business. Oh, he's really will. He's going to go to college. He, he, he leaves. This is at GCSEs now. He's going to do... Um, Take four on him? Yeah, go on him. How much is your coat, please? That's the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. We're all together anyway. All right. Fiver. I'll do you fiver, no problem. Four. I think that's it. Five. Yeah, that's a good shape. Mm -hmm. You got a little table? No, no. <laughs> you just like this bag. I buy, I buy I like to sell. Too. I yeah. buy to sell. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I just pick stuff out and see what I can find. Sure. I'm out. Make money in it. Would you do three on it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, okay, thank, thank you. you.
Let's have a look. Yeah. 2004. Hmm? I was going to show you that. Senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? Here's your other teacup thing for over there. Yeah, That's fine, you know. Of course, you gotta keep an eye out, right? Do you want another quid on that one? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. What have you got on your trainers? They're 40. 40. Yeah. Okay. How much are your trucks? Um, two pounds. Two pound. Yeah. Alright, I'll see what you got. <coughs> Unfortunately, there's not as many tracks for you. It's a serious trailer, is it? Just trying to match them up. That's a Volvo one. Do they match? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Just gotta find this Tesco one that oh, looks like it's that one. That's right, isn't it? I've got nine there, would you do a maybe 15, 15 on that? Yeah, okay. Does that sound all right? Yeah, you're right. Great. One, two, just so you can check, I'm not doing no, I'm you. Not like that. Three, just take what you want. four, five.
six, seven, eight, nine. What have you got on these, please? Uh, they're 15 each. 15. Um, there is a stand for them at the bottom. It's a bit like a motorbike factory. Uh, yeah, they're basically... Interesting things, aren't they? They're worth a lot more, but take up too much space. You get a set of about three, four hundred quid. Mm. The only trouble is I ain't got a box room anymore. Um, I think that's a stand for it. Okay. Have well, you got the stand for both of them? Yeah. There we go. Would you do a price on the two? Uh, do 25 for both. Yeah, go on, we'll do that. Yeah. Where did you get that car? Oh. Uh, I think. Right, put one in one bag and one in the other. Yeah. Save it clanking. <laughs> right, there's your 25. Oh, cheers. Thank you so much for that. All right. Actually, what I can do is I'll put that coat in between there. Because you've got four of the big ones. Yeah. I don't know how interested you are, but I'll sell the whole lot if you wanted. Mm. 70 quid for the whole lot. Oh, don't throw out a number like that. <laughs> 70 for the whole lot. I'd even chuck in the plastic box you'd take with the stands from all of them as well. So that's for the big stand. The big plates and the small yeah. plastic ones for the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Can you convince me any more? What are you thinking? 60. 65. Go on then. Go on then. Let's do it. That's good bargaining. <laughs> I've only just got these out. I'm going to put them away now. <laughs> no man. Sold in it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They're £100, brand new. Mm. That's, that's yours. She's <coughs> quite funny. I feel like looking for my daughter's stuff. Yeah. I just picked that stuff. That's nice. I went, oh no, she's already got that. <laughs> Oh, that's with the Hoover stuff. I'm not sure. Do so I, do I sell these as well? Uh, eight quid. What have you got on that one? Three pounds. Put those out. Oh, do you want me to put them up here? I'll put, put them in here. Yeah, I'll sell the art stuff. Yeah. I'll take that one. Yeah. Thank you. Five for that one, mate. Brand new. Oh. Is there a name on this thing? A name? Yeah, yeah, okay. Go on, I'll do that. Alright, mate. Oh. Oh, no, 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 How much is that one, please? Like six for that one. Six. Go on, I'll give that a whirl. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. There's a Canadian sport scarf. Blue Jays. Heard of them? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's mixed men's and ladies and children. How much do you want for your scarf? A pound for that. Okay. Yeah. Anything else like that? Sports stuff? Well, it's all mixed, stuff. Yeah, all mixed up. 
Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, nice one. Kids want to play with. Yeah, no, yeah. That's true, that. <laughs> Right, thank you. Right, mate. You want to put those over there, some taps. Ah. You want those for you? Oh, how much are they? Um, well, they're new. Uh, oh, uh, how about how about ten? Oh, no, five. It's a bit steep for me. Um, I'll do five on it. All right, five. Okay. Yeah, is that okay? Five, okay. Thank you. There you go, straight five of that. Thank you very Cheers, much. thanks very much. Right. Can you change ten pounds? No, not yet. What have you got in your boots? Fiver. Fiver. I'll take those, thank you. How much is your hat, please? Pound. Pound. Yeah, I'll take that one, please. Okay. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. You've had some trouble. Oh, yeah. You always do here. A lady, a lady as well had a float in the back of a car, an old lady, £130. It's all the money in the world. And they stole it out of oh. her boot. She was unloading. Horrible. Um, yeah, she walked off with them. But these are really expensive towels she walked off with last week, Sunday. Oh. Two people saw her walk off with them. Oh. But we had lots of others go. I've even had things taken off a Tempe mat. You know, I'd rather give it though. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's life. But I, just, I was hoping she'll come round again this week, so I'm hoping she'll Would you recognise her? Um, I didn't see her, but my mum and another lady, but, um, mm -hmm. she says actually I recognise her from somewhere, so it's only a matter of time, they'll probably be. Yeah. Up. It is what it is, it come back. It happens time. everywhere, doesn't it, it unfortunately? Does. you just got to get on with it and just hope, you know. Just keep your eyes out on people. Yes. <laughs> We're done at the boot sale and we got some banging items today, seriously, stay tuned and see what we picked up and how much it might be worth. A um, couple of things to note today. There's thieves at Torbay car boot. There's thieves at every boot, don't get me wrong. But this lady put a sign on her stall. She'd had some stuff stolen. Oh, she wasn't happy and rightly so. There's thieves in every walk of life, unfortunately, and car boot sales are rife with them. So you've got to be careful. Watch your stalls, watch your pockets, be very careful. And uh, I bought a banging bundle of United stuff. Um, never seen anything like it before. I'll show you in a minute. Well, what an interesting boot sale that was today. I picked up loads of good stuff and we're going to go through it all now. Here's everything, guys. This is everything I picked up today. I actually cut it short in the end. I was there for a couple of hours. I probably could have done another walk round. But I picked up all this heavy stuff, all these plates and things. And I just thought, right, that's it. I'm done for today. And typical, I bought these plates and these ceramic balls. And they were at the furthest point in the boot sale from where my car was. So I gave up after that. 
thought I've done enough today. Anyway, let's crack on. We're going to start with this Airwalk skateboard. I paid £5 for this. It looks in pretty much brand new condition. Um, it's not worth as much as what I was hoping. It is in nice condition. It doesn't really look like it's been scuffed or anything, or even the wheels look like they've not been used. But for a fiver, I thought Airwalk, decent brand, decent skater brand. Um, I thought it was worth a go. I think it's probably going to be worth about £20. I've had a look on eBay. Um, so not too bad, but for £5, it's kind of on the limit of what I would want to pay for a £20 sale. Uh, let's put that down there. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look at this. Now this, this could be a bit of a hidden gem from this boot sale. Look at that. It's Barcelona Dragons. It's a vintage cap. You can see the year on there. Is it 81 or... Either 81 or 91. Um, I ain't got a clue who Barcelona Dragons were until I looked it up. World League. So it looks like it's American football. And I paid a pound for this cap. And looks unworn. There's actually one exactly the same listed on eBay at £60 plus international shipping. I don't think I'm going to shoot that high because I'm not seeing much in the way of solds. So I think it needs to be a bit cheaper than that. But I certainly think that this £1 cap should be worth maybe over £30. I'm going to think, I'm going to think over 30 and we'll just see, we'll see what happens with it. I might even auction it. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got some trainers. These are some nice Nike ladies trainers. What size are they? You guys always ask me. It's a UK four and a half. These are almost minty. Looks like they've probably been worn once, twice, three times. Very nice condition. I paid four pound for these. And I think these are around the 30 pound, maybe 35 because the condition is good. Um, now, something that I've learned after buying all the trainer lady deals recently is that these this brand of sandals tether is definitely worth looking out for now these look brand new although there's no box and i've sold pretty much every pair of tethers that i have listed from uh, if you've seen any of the trainer la trainer lady videos you know i've picked up some of these and these were five pound he started off high at 10 and i wasn't really willing to pay 10 but at a fiver, brand new, I would definitely pick those up. I think these are worth 30 to £35. Pound. I might even push 40 on them. Um, let's go over to this really nice Timberland jacket. It's a double XL. It's like a khaki green sort of indie sort of style jacket. Um, this was, I think, £5. Pound. And... Um, I've not checked properly the solds on eBay, but I would think for a Timberland jacket like this, I would think 40, 40-ish, something around that. Um, let's have a look at these other uh, footwear pieces. We've got these Canterbury Junior Phoenix uh, boots. Canterbury is generally rugby, isn't it? So I'm going to guess it, that it's rugby. Phoenix Club. Brand new, never worn, absolutely immaculate. It's got the key on the bottom there. Uh, what did I pay? I think it was £5. Um, what did I write down for this? I'm going to have to check my, my notes on this one. Uh, it looks like around £30, maybe a touch more, if we're lucky. Let's have a look what's in here. Uh, a pair of Adidas... Uh, football boots. These are X Ghosted 0.4. Uh, UK size 8. Oh, what size were the Canterbury? Let me let you know because no doubt someone will message me. Uh, the Canterbury are UK 5s, juniors. Actually, a 24 99 price on those whenever they were bought. Doesn't mean that's the price now, though. Um, could be, though. Uh, right, let's have a look at these ex-ghosted. A very nice young man on the stall. Um, we did a bit of bartering. It was good fun. Uh, but I appreciate the deal. I paid £12 for these. These are brand new, never worn. You can see that. Um, 
and these are worth a little bit more than I was expecting. There's some that go up to sort of 80, 90 pound on these. I think, uh, I'm thinking maybe 50, 60. But yeah, they're nice boots. Um, I paid 12. He wanted 15, I said 10. He said 13, I said 12. A typical little barter. It was a, a nice young man, so thank you if you are watching. Um, what else we got? England Rugby Polo Top. This is the Rugby World Cup Japan 2019. Still tagged. Uh, £1 paid. I think that's worth about 15 And also picked up this England football t-shirt. It's just like a, a sort of, you know, a support a t-shirt when the, there's a World Cup or there's a Euros on. Can't think, 2004, would that have been Euros? Mm, not sure. Either way, picked it up. Because you know what? In one year's time, I can call that vintage. <laughs> I paid a pound. I think it's worth about 15. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky. Um, Toronto Blue Jays scarf. It's nice. Official merchandise. MLB. And... And what did I pay? A pound? I think I paid a pound. It's quite a nice scarf. I'm thinking that could be worth about £15. Um, now, you might have spotted here this um, Elvis DVD. This is the Tom Hanks one that came out not long ago. What an amazing film that is. And I don't yet have that on, on DVD or Blu-ray. So I'm going to keep that one for myself. I pretty much have every single... El uh, not Elvis. I pretty much have every single Tom Hanks film on DVD or Blu-ray, because uh, he is my favourite actor. You probably know that anyway. And I love that film. One pound for that DVD is a bargain. Um, I bought a set of mini pool balls, or billiard balls, or whatever you call them. Um, three pound paid. They need a little bit of a wipe down. on. They're possibly a little bit discoloured, but we'll check that after we've cleaned them up. Still, £3 paid. I think they're worth about 20 20 ish uh, Let's keep those there. Um, I bought a camera, and it came with this... Is it a lens or something? I'll have to check that. But it came with that. It came with the, comes with the bag. And it's this. I haven't checked. I haven't tested it yet. Come on. It's a uh, Canon... EOS 300, um, £5 was the cost, and it's got to be worth £5, hasn't it? I know there's a few computer, uh, I, know, I know there's a few camera experts who watch, and you might tell me what you think this is worth. It's got to be more than £5. I think, looking at my research, maybe £40 on this, if it's working. I've got to test it. But I paid a fiver. It's definitely money in it at a fiver. I'm thinking 40, but it, it could be a little bit more. It could be a little bit less. If you're an expert on cameras, drop us a line in the comments. Um, we've got this Star Wars model set. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Level 3. It is new and sealed. It's got a little bit of a breakage on the seal here. I paid £3 for that. This particular box... Because there's, there's similar, almost the same, but in a different packaging. But this particular box, I think, could be worth about £25. Um, what else have we got? We've got the United stuff to come. I'll get to that in a moment. I'll get to these lovely balls in a minute. But before we do that, look at this little collection of Corgi trucks. So we've got... We ended up getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He ended up with 11. Now, what you saw on camera was me doing a deal, I think, for nine trucks. And um, we did £15 for nine. Then I, I found another one because I was trying to match up the the cab and the trailer. I was trying to match them all up. So I found another one. So he was going to give it me for free. I said, I'll give you a pound for it. So that was £16. And then I found another one. So that made it 11 I bought 11 in total for £17. I gave him another pound for another one. So um, I've done pretty well recently on these kind of corgi sort of tr um, juggernauts, trailers, trucks, whatever you call them. Um, 
and these were in pretty nice condition on the whole so 11 for 17 pounds so let's call it one pound 50 each and I've, i haven't checked every single one individually but i think i think we're safe to say that most of them are 10 pound or over um that one's just got a bit of yellowing on it uh, a volvo one there um tesco's so bp yeah, that's a nice one manchester 2002 commonwealth games and a blue circle so um i'm working on the fact that we're, we're talking a minimum of 10 pound each on these and some of them will definitely be worth a little bit more possibly like those might be worth a bit more that one maybe 10 to 15 uh, but I need to check them all and do my research properly. Now, let's move to the big haul of the United stuff. Now, I'm a City fan. You all know that, or most of you do if you watch this channel. But I can appreciate quality items when I see them. And that did not st stop me picking these up. These are absolutely stunning. These are ceramic footballs. And they come with the stand there, you can see. This one is the Barclays Premiership Winners 2006-2007 that you can see there. That is stunning. And this one is 100 years at the top. This brown ball, which is like an, in the style of an old vintage ball, which makes sense with it being 100 years. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to be really careful with these. They're very, very delicate. But it's got all the results of that of that year uh, on the back. There's some kind of like printed signatures of the team. Very, very nice collectible things. I need to be very, very careful. I lug them around the boot sale. Um, this one has got some players on there. I can't quite read. That's Alex Ferguson, obviously. That Matt Busby, I think it is. Um, it's got key dates and crests, the different crests. But again, right, what I paid for these two was £25 for the pair. And I think that's a bit of a steal, to be honest with you. There's only one that I can find on eBay at the moment, and it's at starting bids of £49.99. I think it's this one. I think that one's on at eBay at the minute, forty nine ninety nine, but bids, starting bids. So I've got no idea right now what I'm going to list these for. If there's a United fan watching or a football collector and you know something about these, drop me a line or, uh, you know, drop a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear a bit more about these. Or indeed, if you're interested in buying them off me or making me an offer, then please message me on Instagram or Facebook details below. Now, I paid 25 for those two, but then the guy asked me if I wanted to do a deal on all the plates. Now, we did have some other United memorabilia as well, but I decided to pass on a couple of bits. Um, you might have seen it in the video. Um, condition was a little bit of an issue on, on a couple of things. Um, but um, most of these, if not all of them, have certificates here. Hopefully the bowls have got certificates. I know one of them definitely has, but I need to check the others. And they've all come in with these uh, plate stands. Let's have a quick look what we got here. I paid 65 for this stack of plates, and I think there's around 20 here. Let me make a bit of space here. Let me make, move these trucks across. I think there's around 20 um, plates, all collectible, hopefully with certificates. John O'Shea, got the holograms on the back, official official stuff. You can see the little hologram sticker. The Triumphant Trio, George Best on there. Uh, sensational 60s. Again, if you're interested in any of these, drop me a line because I really want to move these on before we actually move house in a few weeks' time, Rio Ferdinand, because uh, the less breakable stuff I'm moving, the better, really, to be honest. The Busby Babes, 
I think these are worth, depending on obviously individually, uh, you know, which ones. Um, there's quite a lot on eBay. There's a lot sold. There's a lot listed uh, 100 years at the top. And these plates could be anywhere from 10 to 15 pound up to up to 40 to 50, I think, depending individually which one is worth more because the various prices. Ronaldo there. Hopefully they've all got their certificates. I'll check through them all obviously when I'm listing them, but treble winners 1999. What else we got? Now I'm a city fan, you all know that, but you can you can appreciate nice items. Nice collectible items because we all support different teams at the end of the day. And what's that one? Champions Premier League Champions 10 11. Yeah, we all support different teams. We and we all collect our different things for our teams. So I can appreciate that. Ryan Giggs, Wayne Rooney. I kind of stopped buying um, plates a while back because they tend to be a bit sticky and they hang about for ages. But I made an exception on these just because it was such a good deal. And um, it, the subject matter is very, very collectible. So 18 times champions. Yeah, the subject matter really makes a massive difference. Uh, now, these are bigger plates. These are worth a bit more. These are... You know, these could be 30 to 50 pound plates, possibly even a little bit more, depending on each one. Lovely writing on the back, lovely print. Oh, what's that one? 2007 Road to the, to the Final. There's got to be some United fans out there who would know something about these or maybe be interested. But it's a good deal all round. I paid ninety pound in total for the two balls and all the plates, and I think there's I think there's twenty plates here. Moscow two thousand and eight. Look at that one. Let's put those back. So let me see how many we've got all together here. Because I th I counted twenty, but it's four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then indeed there was twenty, so I counted well. I can count after all. Right, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the boot sale and all the pickups. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you wanna catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones, uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go, see you later.